Elbow Grease Productions in association with MichaelJacksonInsider.com presents Hi, this is Pearl Jr. for MichaelJacksonInsider.com bringing you another episode in the Michael Jackson death hoax and notice yes I have new hair. Now what we're going to talk about now is the whole Pepsi ad campaign in which Michael Jackson's image will be on a billion cans. Now for you guys who don't really understand how much a billion cans is I'm going to do a little analogy. Um, if I was to clap every second it would take me 12 days to clap a million times. Now, if I was to clap every second and clap to a billion, that would take 31 years. So I just wanted you guys to know the magnitude of a billion cans of Pepsi. Now the Pepsi ad started way back with X Factor and I believe it started with Simon Cowell um, back in 2008, but I'll tell you more about that another episode of Michael Jackson Insider. Now, on May 4th, which is Katherine Jackson's birthday, we had this picture released on Facebook. And it's a picture of Michael in lounge pants and in a shirt. Then on May 6th, we have Nicki Minaj doing this whole Pepsi ad, live for now, alive, alive. And then they have this tomato fight. And you're like, what the heck is this tomato fight? Well, May 6th is my birthday, so we have Catherine's birthday, my birthday. Was that a clue to pay attention to Michael Jackson's birthday? Because this year, 2012, in Spain, is the Tomato Festival. And the Tomato Festival is just a practical joke, just for fun, where people throw tomatoes at each other. If we go back to the picture released on May 4th, we see Michael Jackson shirt looking like there's tomato spots on. It. So was that a clue? Now let's fast forward to May 8th. On May 8th we have Pablo dancing and it looks like he has on the same lounge pants as that picture that was released on May 4th. So we know Catherine was at the X Factor and we know that they brought back the Pepsi ad of Michael Jackson and some other celebrities. Now we have the billion cans of Pepsi. Now do you think that's going to end the whole Pepsi ad campaign? I don't think so. Now we also have bad 25 which is 2 and 5 is Michael's favorite number, 7. So we're going to see what happens, but this is Pearl Jr. bringing you another clue and always pay attention to the sequence of dates. See you next time. Thousands believe Tupac did it. Millions believed Elvis did it. But did Michael Jackson really do it? E-movie book, Suicide. Did Michael Jackson fake his death to save his life? By author Pearl Jr. It's the most shocking true story of our lifetime. Order yours today. Go to MichaelJacksonSuicide.com. That's MichaelJacksonSuicide.com. <laughs>